Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So in this respective video, we will be discussing about the binary tree search. Okay, binary search trees, uh, which we have as a data structure in our Python programming language. Right, so it is like one of the most important topics uh, which we'll be covering up about the binary trees, binary search trees, BST, whatever you say that out. So um, that's what we are going to discuss into this particular video with the theoretical part and your uh, practical implementations, both of the things. So let's get started up here, guys. So what we will do, first of all, first of all, I'll help you out with that what is a binary tree. Okay, we'll just try to even add out some definitions over here. So I'll just, I'll just comment up the parts from here. Um, great. Right, inside that I'll help you out that what is a binary tree. Okay, so I'm gonna write that a binary, a binary tree is a data structure, a binary tree is a data structure in which, in which every node, or in which every node or uh, vertex has at most, has at most two children. Right, that is what we have over here as a binary tree. So it is a data structure into which uh, all the nodes which we have in or the vertex which we have in that is it moves having up two corners. Right. Now if I talk in specifically about the Python programming language. So in Python, in Python a binary tree can be represented in Python. Okay, let me get down first of all from here. Great. So in Python, a binary tree, it can be represented in different, in different, um, in different data structures. Like if I give an example for that data structures, it is a dictionary. I'll just write dict like that. Okay. Next is your um, list also. Right. And um, if we talk about the class representations in it, so the class representation for a node, right? So it this particular binary tree can be represented in the different data structures and even the class which is representing for the nodes, right? That is what first of all uh, is here. Now if I talk about some more things, so let's say I can write like in this manner that however, uh, however binary tree Okay, how the binary tree library we have in Python actually that's one of the uh, new things which we have up over here. So the binary tree uh, library which we have up here um, in the in the Python, so right, so that library it helps us helps us to helps us to directly helps us to directly um, implement helps us directly implement a binary tree right so it directly helps us to implement up a binary tree that is what we have up over here so binary tree that is a data structure in which all the nodes which we having or whatever the vertex we are having that is having it most means uh, it most means the maximum okay two children so in python uh, a binary tree you can represent that with the help of a different data structures like your dictionary list and the classes representation is for a node right and even however the binary tree library which we have up in the python right that uh, completely helps us to directly implement up a binary tree now what are the things that this particular library supports and everything so I'll mention some things over there for the same. So um, it also supports, it also supports heap and, it also supports heap and binary search tree that is your BST that I was talking about in the starting. So this library also supports up your heap, it also supports up your binary search tree. Right, now this module, this module does not it this module does not comes pre-installed pre-installed means that once you have installed python onto your uh, devices so there are some modules or some things which already comes installed with python right 
so you uh, manually do not need to write out any respective code uh, for the installation of those respective things but here this model which we are having this respective model of a binary tree so that does not come pre-installed okay that doesn't come pre-installed with python's uh, module right so uh, to install up this to install this um, the command the command use of what's the command that we use is um, that is your pip install and your library name that is a uh, binary tree binary tree right so now in Python whenever you want to install anything considering your in library or any module anything like that you want to install in Python so that is having up the command of your pip install and then your respective library name let's say in right now in my case i want to install this binary tree library right so i can very simply write pip install binary tree and that will very simply help me to uh, install up this respective thing for me right now that is what happens up over here right now this was about that what is binary tree is and um, generally if we want to use that in python so how do we do so right that we have discussed up over here now i will be starting on with uh, the topics which we have up over here so now the very first topic that we will be discussing is about creating a node right because uh, in all these uh, in all these algorithms in all these binary trees and everything the one thing that plays a very major role that is about creating out our nodes right that how are we creating the node and how does that gets created and everything so first of all let's discuss about that only so creating node right so now how do we do that so i'll discuss in that the node class that the node class represents the the node class represents the structure of a particular of a particular node in the in the binary tree i'll give the space in the binary tree right so the node class which we have in that represents up the structure of a particular node in a binary tree right so now what are the attributes which we have in so i'll write the attributes of this class are what attributes we have in over here those are your values left comma right so these many attributes we are having up into a into this particular class so node class node class is what it is representing up the structure of a, of a particular node in a binary tree that uh, how does this respective node looks like into a binary tree just helping us to get that respective thing right and now the attributes which we have up are your class in into this particular class are your values left and right right so now what's the syntax Right, because it, it's quite important for us to learn about the syntax before writing up that node or anything. Right, so syntax goes in as your, you have to first of all write in your binary tree, one second. Binary tree dot, next line, you have to put a dot, right, node. Now into that you have to write in your value, right. Then if you want something left, write that. For now I'm going to put in right, uh, none. If you want something right, write that right and like this this is the manner how do you do up the things right this is the syntax which we use in. talking about the parameters that what are the parameters which are included over here so parameters first parameter is your value right so what does it do it contains the um it contains the data whatever the data you are having it contains the data for a for a node one second it contains the data for it node right so this value or uh, this value must be a number must be a number right so this is one thing which we have up like value it contains the data for a node 
the very first thing and uh, this respective value which we have in this must be a number surely it should be a number only right now if i talk about the left uh, node the left parameter right so what happens up over here so it contains the details it contains the details of the it contains the details of the left node child onto the left parameter it contains all of the details of the left node child and if i talk about the right one right so again with the same i'm going to write that it contains the details of the of the right node child right that is what we have up over here so left contains the details of the left node child right right contains the details of the right node child fine great now here is a type of a exception which we have it right there are some types of exceptions which we have into that i'm going to put that into a note okay one second note so my note goes that if left or right if left or right child node is is not an instance of a of a binary tree it means that if whatever you have entered whatever the data you have numbers you are having if right and the left and the right child node if those are not an instance of a binary tree right so into that class now the node class then the node class then it gives you a exception that is your binary it is your binary tree dot exceptions that gives you an exception that is a binary tree exceptions right so this is one of the most important things so if your left and the right uh, child node if that is not an instance of a binary tree so into that particular case the node class uh, in that case it's going to give you a binary tree dot exception that is your respective exception now there is one more thing that is your node type error let me give a space between them a uh, node type error right now what happens into this no type error no type error is raised it is raised and if the node value and if the node value is not a number if the node value which you have that is not a number then then binary tree uh, the binary tree which we have uh, discussed that exception then binary tree dot then binary tree dot exceptions right in that case it's going to occur the binary tree dot exception dot dot node value error the node value error is raised now if any kind of a error which i have mentioned up over here if that type of error occurs so now you might be able to get uh, in that what mistake you are making right so if left or the right child node is not an instance of binary tree then that case node class will be your binary tree dot exception that is what you will be getting right now if the node type error is actually raised out right so in that case if the node value is not a number then your binary tree dot exceptions dot node value error is raised out that is first of all how the errors are being raised up over here what i'll do i'll give you a very quick practical implementation uh, for the same so that uh, you get that a little bit more clearly okay so let's say i'm first one i'm going to write that from from binary tree i am going to import up the node and binary tree is not installed for me so i'll go over to the terminal here okay i'll just click over the terminal and uh, into this i write the command for the installation of the binary tree so the command is pip install binary tree and hit out enter so what it will do it will install up this binary tree uh, library for me over here again at your end if it is not uh, installed so you can even write this command on your terminals or uh, command prompt or your powershell so that will install it for you this command pip install binary tree now see i got a message that successfully installed right so that's quite done and uh, 
fine so yeah this might this will be installed or it will be removed so from binary tree i am importing up the node right so now i will take a variable that is root and we know that every time it's the most common thing which we take in um which is a root variable and into that i'm going to pass as the node and let's say it's going to be my three node okay one second three right again i can put in some left and right values so let's say it's the root dot root dot left let's say i have right again into that i'm going to use up this node function and i'm going to write here as six right next i have root dot and that's going to be right for me again is equal to and i have that node which is equal to eight so root is equal to node three uh, then we have a node six and then we have node eight right that's how we have this now what i do i'll try to get my binary tree made so i'll just first of all try to print in over here print and that's my binary tree right putting the quote colons over here comma and we have the variable which is my root variable right now i will try to get in the list of the nodes so now i'm going to write print right and uh, i'll just try to write up list of nodes right list of nodes comma i'm going to write up list like this over here inside that i'm going to pass up the root as a variable right now that's again done now i'll be trying to get in the in order of so i'll just try to print so i'll just try to print in up a statement for getting the in order of the node to print i'll just write in order okay one second yeah in order of nodes putting up the colons like this right comma i have this root dot uh in order right root dot in order fine so that is what is uh, done now if you want to check in the tree properties right checking about the tree properties what are the properties which we have in into the tree for that i'm going to write print we can check in first for the size let's say so I'll, i'm going to write that size of the tree right putting up a comma here i can write root dot size right and second property let's say i'm going to check the height of the tree as well so i'll write uh, actually uh, height of the tree comma here i have the root dot height h-e-i-g-h-t right so that is my height now what i'll do i'll try to get in all the properties of my uh, tree in one single go right so i'm going to write up the print statement print and uh, that is properties of tree print properties of tree colon backslash n right one second print properties of tree colon backslash n and uh, with that i have a comma root of comma root dot and this is my properties right that is all done so these all things we have in over here the list and list of my nodes in order of the nodes size height properties everything now we'll do one thing i'll just try to run out this over here this particular program let's check the final result okay so see here we are having that this is my binary tree the three six and this eight right see how beautifully this tree has been automatically made list of node we have three nodes node three node six node eight in all of the nodes node six node three node eight that is how i had put in right size of the tree is three height of the tree is one properties are height one size three uh is max heap false is min heap true is perfect true is strict true is complete true leaf count two minimum node value three maximum node value eight minimum leaf depth one leaf depth one is balanced to uh is bst binary search tree false is symmetric false right so these are lots of properties which we have about that particular this particular tree which we have made so i hope you got the idea first of all that how does this particular things work all over and how does this goes right now now what i'll try to help you out with i'll try to help you out that about building the uh, binary tree uh from a list 
okay let's do that okay one second yeah so I'll write build a binary tree from the list right now here what I have done I have just used out this node method right I just used out the node and with the help of that I was getting the uh, respective or I was getting a desired result right so I'll just try to write that instead of instead of using the node method repeatedly right instead of using the node method repeatedly we can uh, we can use build method actually we have a method which is a build uh, method very simple method right build method to convert to convert a list build method to convert a list of to convert a list of values into a binary tree so build a binary tree from the list this is what uh, we can uh, like do as well so instead of using the node method which we have used up above what we can do we can uh, we can even use the build method okay build is a method which we can use for converting up a list of values uh, into a binary tree so here uh, here a given list here a given list contains the contains the nodes of tree right so whatever the list we are having that is containing a node of the tree um, such that okay one second such that the element such that the element um, basically like whatever we are having a list which is having and the nodes of that particular tree such that uh, the the particular elements which we have up over here at the index at index let's say index is i has its has its left has its left child at index 2 multiplied i plus 1 now that is one thing which are, which is to be understood over here right that if we are having up a list which is having the uh, nodes of a tree in a manner that the element which we have that element is at index i so the left child will be at an index of 2 multiplied i plus 1 right and comma now the right child which will be there the right child at the right child will be at index 2 multiplied 2 multiplied okay one second i plus 2 Re left at 1 i plus 1 and uh, right at i plus 2 and and parent and parent will be at i minus 1 double slash 2 right so this is the the positions where the elements will be of that particular tree this is the place so these are the locations um where the indexes would be actually right so at index 2 into i plus 2 and parent at i minus 1 uh, double slash 2 so the element So the element at index, so the element at index j for j greater than len of the list, okay, of the one second, of the list double slash 2, right, are leaf nodes, are leaf nodes. Right, so this is the element which will be at the index of j where this condition will follow. That will be your leaf nodes. Right, so this is all the values, all the important positions, all the important syntaxes which we have over here. Now, if I talk about uh, syntax, so let's discuss about the syntax. So, syntax is like that binary tree dot. We have a build function. 
and in the bracket i have the values to enter for that build function values okay one second right above that even now we have a parameter which is a values parameter so that will be a list representing it will be a list, a list, a list representing of the binary tree of the binary tree right and if i talk about the returns parameter so that returns parameter is the root of binary tree right so that is one other method like how can we uh, work up over the same and write how the things can be uh, like made fine now we can write up a quick program onto the same and we can see how does the things uh, work up over here right so let's get down so for again from uh, the binary tree i'm going to write from binary tree i am going to import up um build function this time previously i imported up the node right but now there is a need for my build function so from binary tree i'm importing the build i'm going to make up a list of the nodes nodes is my variable let's say values i'm having 3 8 one four um 18 comma uh i have one let's say none also and then let's have 14 fine these are the nodes values which we have up now what i'll do i'll build up my binary tree so binary underscore tree that will be equal to my build function bracket right and into that i have the variable which is my nodes variable now i'll print out something so print i'm going to print up your binary tree from list right so this is a binary tree from list let's say that is what i wanted to print and comma one second uh after this i'm going to print a comma and i'm going to use up that binary tree variable that is the thing which we have now what we'll do i'll try to get the list of the nodes from the binary tree so i'm going to use up the print variable print function and i'm going to write that list from binary tree list from binary tree like that right comma here i will be writing binary tree dot and that is being your values binary tree dot values right that is what we have up over here so just very simply we imported up the build function from here right we had put the variable which is my notes into that we have entered the values then with the help of that build function we are just writing the notes and printing up the statements and getting the desired results i just try to run this once and great so from here we are having this binary tree from list this is how my binary tree has been printed three and uh, based over that we have the results and the list from my binary tree is 3 8 1 4 18 9 and 14 so accordingly so 3 8 1 4 18 9 here none and then we are having a 14 so this is how my binary tree will be formed for this respective case for this respective one fine so great i hope i am pretty clear with this uh, one thing to everyone over here now what i'll do i'll show you one other thing here i'll now import up the tree function from here from my uh, binary tree so let's say i'm going to write that from binary tree from binary tree i am importing up the tree over here right getting down i have variable as a root right and into that what i'm calling i am calling up a tree function okay into that i'm calling up the tree function so what i'm doing i'm trying up to print i'm trying to print binary tree of any height what height do you want the binary tree of that i would like print of here and i'm going to print up the root it will take the input from me okay 
Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create up a random uh, tree, a random binary tree of any given height, of a given height, right? So let's say I have a variable as root 2, okay? And that is equal to 3. Into the bracket we are having height is equal, let's say, right, let's say, right? So I print up a value. So value which I print will be binary tree binary tree of given height okay that will be my sentence which i want to print and i'm going to print up the root 2 so this will help me to get in my binary tree as we were doing uh, since the starting so this is how we will print it out right now what i'll do i'll try to create up a, a random perfect binary tree of a given height okay so i'm going to write root 3 is equal to i'm going to use tree as my of function name okay i'm gonna set up a height let's say that's gonna be my two right and i'm gonna use of the parameter which is is perfect and that i'm gonna set as true okay now what i do as i was telling we are creating up a random perfect binary tree now i'm writing print and i'll be trying to print that perfect binary tree of given height right like that i'll print and i will print up my now root three perfect so we just simply what we did i simply imported up the tree from my binary tree uh, library and from that i have just tried to make up a, a tree and a perfect binary tree let's run this over and look how does it looks like okay see this up till this from here the respective uh, program will start one second binary tree of any height right so it has randomly made up a binary tree of any particular height for me first of all now my height was two so this is how my binary tree is looking like when my height is given as two now the perfect binary tree of a given height. now now see this binary tree is quite very 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 perfect Four is in the middle, it is divided into 0 and 6, and 0 is subdivided into 2 and 5, 6 is subdivided into 1 and 3. So whenever you want to make a perfect binary tree, use up this particular method which I have told you over here. That was your, uh, take a variable, give a tree height and just set out that is perfect uh, particular parameter to true. So once you have set it out this particular is perfect parameter to true, that binary tree will look very 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 uh, clear very uh, very clear to you over here that's the method how do you do this particular thing right now this is was we were making up a simple binary tree right now i want to make a bst bst means binary binary search tree so i'm going to write building bst search binary search tree Okay, so we'll discuss about that now. So the binary search tree, as I was putting the full form for BST, binary search tree. Okay, that is a special, binary search tree is a special type of, a special type of tree data instructor, one second, of tree, of tree data structure. Right, so binary tree search BST, that is a special type of tree data, data structure whose in order means basically the order uh, into the math method it has to be ordered or it has to be shown so whose in order gives a gives a sorted gives a sorted list of nodes and vertices so whenever you want to get in a sorted list of nodes and the vertices for any of the respective binary trees Try using BST, that is a try using binary search tree. That is the method which can be used, right? Now, uh, if you want to create up a BST in Python, so what do you do? You just very simply create up an object uh, for the BST uh, with the help of the binary tree module. That's the idea. How do you do the same? So I'll even help you out with a practical implementation so you'll get it more clearly. But for now, just understand this much. Whenever you want to create up a uh, directly, you want to create a BST object, so you can do that uh, 
with the help of the binary tree module next we are having a function that is called as a bst function right so this bst function which we have in it will help you to generate up a random binary search tree it will help you generate up a random bst and it returns its the root nodes so bst it uh, i'll just even write it for you generates the random binary search tree and and returns and returns its nodes right that is what we have here now talking about the syntax for the same one second right so i'll now discuss the syntax for the same thing syntax is my we write it in this manner binary tree dot bst we discuss the height and let's say height is equal to 3 and if we talk about is perfect so if you want it to be a perfect one you can write in true or you can even write in false let's say okay that's your choice i'm going to write false over here fine next we are having the parameters that what parameters are being used up over here so that parameters first is my height parameter right so it, it represents height as the height of the tree that the tree which we are having it is the height of that tree and the values can range between 0 to 9 so i'll write it is height of the tree and values range between one second and the values range between 0 to 9 that is the thing okay next parameter we are having is perfect okay so it if it is set true if set true a perfect binary tree is created even i have even like right away a few minutes before i have given you the uh, practical demonstration also that if we set in that if perfect is true then in that case how does the things look like right talking about what does it returns so it returns of the root node of the binary search tree root node of the b is t that is what it returns great so we will just try to write in a quick program for the same and see how does it works so i'm going to write from binary tree i am going to import of the bst okay that is my binary search tree bst right now root is equal to we have the following called function which is my bst function so i'm just randomly creating up a binary search tree of any height so i'm going to print up over here bst of any height okay bst of any height and it will automatically create any height bst for me and i'm just simply going to print up the root right that is the now i'll be creating up a random binary search tree of a given height so root 2 let's say is equal to bst and uh, let's say i give that height is equal to 2 right so I am going to print in the thing. So I'll just write, like, try to print that BST of a, the BST of a given, BST of a given height, right, backslash n. Achha, here putting up a comma, I'm going to write root 2 also. And uh, not here, I'll just attach it above only. So I'll just put in up a comma and I'll just write root okay not inside but outside comma root great fine so that is being made out root and root 2 now we will be creating up a random perfect binary search tree of a given height so it's time it's gonna be root 3 is equal to bst height i'll set let's say again as 2 only and now i'll be having that is perfect parameter and I'll set that parameter to as true, right? And I am going to print up over here. Um, I'll print it in a manner that, oh, one second. Perfect BST of given height, right? Colon backslash in, putting a comma, 
and I have root 3 right so this is the other uh, thing which we have up so now my all the three BSTs my binary search trees are made the first one was uh, of any random height second one was a BST of a given height and third one is my perfect BST of a uh, given height right so I'll just try to run it now and uh, we'll see how does it looks like okay so from here it starts binary tree of a given height no one second um okay not here not here bst great so bst of any respective height this is how it looks like like binary search of any given height right so see it looks low so 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 and messy 14 is somewhere and 4 is somewhere so it doesn't looks like uh, we will be able to understand then we have the binary search tree of a given height so this is how the binary search tree of a given height looks like next we have the perfect binary search tree of a given height so now when a perfect BST is being made then it's quite very 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 clear that how it has to look like it uh, how it has to be made out right and what are the things which are to be included into it and everything so this is how a perfect binary search tree of a given height looks like right so i hope i am pretty clear with the same thing uh, about the uh, about this particular one that how do you simply uh, make up that particular one or how do you make up the binary search trees and everything so i'll take you to the starting and we will discuss up all the things which we have right away discussed into this video so we have discussed starting with what is a binary tree so that is a data structure in which all the nodes or the vertex they have at most two children right so in python a binary tree can be represented in different data structures like your dictionary list and class representations for a node however the binary tree library we are having in over here that it completely helps you out to directly implement up a binary tree right so it automatically even makes that uh, binary tree for us that we have already seen it also supports the heap and the bsts so this module that is your binary tree module it doesn't come pre-installed so you need to install this onto your devices or maybe uh, with the help of the terminals or with the help of command prompts or windows partial anything right so install up the command is pip install binary tree now how do you create the nodes so node class which we have that represents your the complete structure of a particular node in a binary tree the attributes which we have into this class are the values left right right all of those parameters we are having and the syntax is binary tree dot node where we are having the value left node is equal to none right is also equal to none the parameters which we have in so the value contains the data for the node that value can be a number left it contains the details of the left node child right it contains the details of the right node child right and the note is that if the left or the right child node if it is not an instance of a binary tree so the node class then binary tree exceptions might occur so the node type error that is raised and if the node value is not a number then the binary tree dot exception dot node value error that this this, this particular type of error occurs so here we have just into this program we looked out at how we can make the binary tree how we can find a list of the nodes in order of the node size height properties everything how we can find that out now let's you want to find uh, so you want to build a binary tree with the help of a list right so instead of using the node methods very frequently or very repeatedly we can use up the build method for converting up a list of the values into a binary tree so here what we have we have a given list that contains the nodes of a tree such that the elements which are there are the index i those are at its left child right and the index 2 multiplied i plus 1 the right child and the index 2 multiplied i plus 2 and the parent at i minus 1 double slash 2 so these are the positions where all of these respective uh, elements are present so the element uh, that is at the index j for the j written length list double slash two those are the leaf nodes right so the syntax for that goes binary tree dot build in the bracket we have the values and the values those are your list representing of the binary tree it returns the root of the binary tree 
Now this is how we just checked out uh, by making with the list, right? Even by making with the tree. Now if you want to build up the binary search tree, building of the BSTs. So binary search tree that is a very special type of a tree data structure, uh, whose in order that is giving you a sorted list of the nodes, right? And the vertices. So BST tells you to generate up a random binary search tree and returns its nodes, right? So syntax is binary tree dot BST height we are having is perfect we check if that is equal to true or false it depends parameters are your height and the is perfect parameters and this is how we create up a bst that is a binary search tree right so i hope i am pretty much clear to you over that how what is a binary tree what is a binary search tree how you can make that one right how do you do up those respective things I hope you all are pretty clear with all of those particular things. So if you have enjoyed this video, do share this video with your friends to like this video and do not forget to subscribe out my channel. We'll see you there in the next video.